Hi, so I thought that I would show you guys how I would normally play around with color on an image in Photoshop and just the overall adjustment layers that I normally like to use. This particular image was shot a couple days ago with my friend Sydney. I'll include her Instagram somewhere here, as well as a florist, a flor de lis, and she makes beautiful bouquets, crowns, and just is very creative with flowers. I just love it. I'm a sucker for flowers. <laughs> so yeah, uh, first I will show you the before. Um, I, I did some basic editing already on this and then flattened it, but to be honest, Sydney has like perfect skin, so there's like nothing I needed to do for this. And then so after doing the basic editing, um, I mean, I, I, I think I do have a video on skin retouching if you guys want to check it out it's on youtube somewhere but i could always make uh, an updated version if that's something you'd be interested in so as you can see i've done some uh, highlighting in certain areas of the image and because we were shooting pretty late in the day i think this must have been about 7 30 or 8 o'clock um, and i wasn't using any light refre reflectors or any accessories to help um, bounce light onto her or flash. So I needed to bring out the, the, the darks and the shadows in the image just because it's just a bit too dark and I need to make up for not using any of those accessories. So after that, you can see I actually brought in the background from a different image. So this other image was shot at the same location, same time and everything, but I just wanted to add some more lupins into the background. So I just thought that it improved the image just a little bit there. And now I've got a curves layer just to raise the overall exposure of the image. And I've got that at 50%-ish opacity. And I've got a um, an, another curves layer, but this one is to add more so some more contrast into the image. So I've created an S curve right there, and then that one's at opacity 40%. Now, I really do like to play around with color, so the um, selective color adjustment layer is like my favorite thing to play around with. And so this one I actually have instead in normal normal blending mode I've got it in color and I've I usually have it at 100% when I'm adjusting the color and then tone it down to whatever percentage seems a little bit more natural so I normally adjust the main colors within whichever image I'm editing in this particular one I've adjusted the yellows quite a bit as well as the greens and then highlights, neutrals, and then a little bit of the blacks. And then, so that's before, and then the after. And then I just brought the opacity down to 30-ish. And then the next layer um, is a luminosity blending mode. And this one is the curves layer again, but we're using it a little bit differently. So instead of being normal blending mode, as you can see, it's luminosity. And I'll show you the difference right here. So this would be normal. And then luminosity would be like this. So it's less so much affecting the, uh, the range of the colors. So you can see this one is quite cyan, whereas this one retains the uh, actual color of the image. And then the, tone that down a bit again. So if, if you look right here, I did bring up the uh, shadows a bit there which adds a bit of haziness to the image. And then I brought the reds down. So you can see that affects just the reds within the image, the blues just a tad, and then I didn't touch the greens at all in this one. And then the next one, I definitely like adding some either lens flare or just some highlight in the corner that makes it look like the sun is shining. So I've got that set to screen mode. And to do this particular one, you just go to image, wait, you go to layer, a new fill layer, and gradient. And then you press yes and everything like that. And then you make it a radial 
gradient and then you wouldn't want it to be black this one I'm actually made pink and then I just change the blending mode to screen because if I had it on normal it would be a bit overpowering in terms of how much color it puts on the image so I put on screen and then tone it down just a bit next layer is playing around with color again sometimes I just take a, a few different times of playing around to get exactly what I'm going for but this one is on normal so I didn't affect the main main uh, uh, level right here I've only played around with the reds green and blue and so this is where I played around a bit more with the colors the three main colors of the image and then tone that down to 22% because it's a little overpowering when you make it a hundred percent so Let's bring that back down. And then the last one, I just brought the highlights or the, the shadows up a bit more just to add a bit more haziness. That would be 100%. And then back down. So the last one, actually, there's one more. It's just a vibrance uh, layer. You don't necessarily have to have it, obviously, but I just like adding a little bit more oomph to the image. So yeah, that's kind of how I would normally edit one of the images or the, or the layers that I would use. Um, a lot of layers that play around with color because that's like what I like to do a lot. So that's the before image and then the after right there. And let's zoom in and do a before and after up close. And before and then after. And yep, so that's, I just thought that would be interesting to show you guys and see what you guys think and let me know if you have any other ideas of what kind of videos that you would like me to do.